Math problems, dovetail, and slides solved using principle 15 and 16. In this video, I'm going to go step by step on how to solve dovetail and slide problems. I will also show you when and how to use principle 15 and 16, and step by step how to solve this problem with trigonometry. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. This video is made for apprentices and may contain scenes that are over explained and may not be appropriate for your skill level. Math problems, slides and dovetails. This is problem number one. We're gonna call this an internal slide or an internal dovetail. And this is problem number two. We're gonna call this an external slide or external dovetail. We are going to use two principles to solve this principle 15 and principle 16. A line drawn tangent to a circle is perpendicular to a radius. So in other words, you can draw a line from the tangent point to the center of the circle. And that line is going to be perpendicular. Principle 16. Two tangent lines are drawn from a circle to a point outside of the circle. There we go, we got two here, and they're equal. So therefore, if we turn around and we say that A and C equals B and C, no matter where you put the lines to a given point on the outside, they're going to be equal to each other. Principle 16. If we turn around and we draw a line from here to the center of the circle, the line bisects this angle. So if this is a known angle, we can bisect it. So if we turn around and we say, let's say angle C here is 60 degrees, therefore we can say by bisecting that angle, dividing it in two, angle ACD is going to be 30 and angle BCD is also going to be 30 if angle C is an included 60 degrees. Do we see how the principle will help solve the problem? How about now? So bisecting this angle here, we can come up to the center of our circle here, and we also have a 90 degree triangle here. So let's solve this problem, problem number one. Let's add some numbers. So we have 60 degrees here. We're gonna say that our dowel pin is three quarters of an inch or 0.75. And we're going to say from tip to tip here is 5 inches. Now that we have the numbers, let's solve the problem. Okay, so we have a 3 quarter inch dowel pin. We have a 60 degree here. Let's use principle 16 to bisect that angle. We're also going to use principle 15 to draw a line perpendicular to create a 90 degree triangle here. So 60 divided by 2 is going to be 30. We have the diameter. What we want is the radius here. So we're going to divide that in half, and we're going to come up with 0.375. So we have our triangle. Now we need to solve for our triangle. In a previous video that I've created is trigonometry for beginners. If you're having any problems with trigonometry, this is a basically a 10-minute video, and it'll show you the nine basic problems that there are with basic trigonometry. Okay, using our chart here, what we have is we have this angle here, and we have the opposite angle, and what we want to find is our adjacent length. So therefore, what we find, we always put on top. So we want to find adjacent over opposite. So we go down our chart here, and we find adjacent over opposite. So we're going to use cotangent. Here's our problem. 30 degrees, 0.375. We're going to be using cotangent. So cot 30 times adjacent over opposite. So we're going to use tan 30 equals second function 1 over equals times 0.375 equals 
0.6495. Therefore, the length or the answer for our length is 0 0.6495. Let's put this all together and solve our problem. So we have these two lengths here of 0.6495 here and here. We're going to highlight them in blue. <clears throat> so as our equation writes out, and you don't have to do it this way, you can just do straight up subtraction and addition. So we're going to go 5 minus bracket bracket, and then 0.6495 times 2 bracket plus, and then we need to add our radiuses. So it's going to be our radiuses times 2 with a second bracket. And we come up with a grand total of 0.9, or sorry, 2.951. So therefore, the distance between our pins is 2.951. So that's problem number one down. Let's take a look at problem number two now. We've got to add some numbers to this. So we'll say 1.5. And I'm just pulling random numbers out. We're going to use the same 3 quarter inch dowel pin. Uh, we're going to change it up. Instead of going 60 degrees, we'll say 40 degrees. Let's zoom in here so we have this guy here. So we see our basic. Whenever you see a ball in a V, and sometimes they are difficult to see, because you might not see them. They're, they might be a larger than 90 degree angle in there, so they're difficult to see sometimes. You always want to bisect the angle. So we have our 40 degrees. We bisect that angle, we come up with our 20 degrees, we draw our line, we draw our line perpendicular, so we have our triangle, 20 degrees, uh, 3 eighths of an inch, or 0 0.375. We're going to use the same trig, we come up with uh, 1.03, uh, therefore, we're going to solve our problem now. We know that our triangle length is 1.03 add our radiuses to that, add them all up, and we come up with 4.31. Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. A shout out to Chris for requesting this video. It should have answered all of your dovetail and slide questions. If you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face, and I'll do the rest. Thank you for watching the video and have a great night.